her in Torquay, <coughs> organised by a bloke called Neil, who's from Torquay but now lives in Sheffield. He'll be at the Sheffield gigs, I'm sure, <laughs> with, with his wife Michelle. Anyway, um, we uh, we did this gig, and then uh, you know he said, "Well, you're staying with us. We're, you're staying in our annex in, in the back garden. They got a sort of like uh, like a um, what do they call it a, um, a conservatory in the back. And it was their parents' place. And they had a sort of conservatory in the back, and me and Blythe Power were, were crashing in there." And so uh, we, we sort of uh, got in there and I had a bottle of beer and um, they didn't because most of them didn't drink. Um, anyway, and then Joseph um, um, sort of got his rucksack um, and then out of his rucksack he pulled this thing. Well, he didn't really need to pull it because it emerged on its own. Uh, it, didn't, it, sort of didn't, it, it emerged of its own volition. Um, driven by forces unknown and unbelievable and sort of motivated itself to the corner and then lay there festering and I said bloody hell Joseph where do you get that it's disgusting he said I found it in a squat <laughs> so I wrote a poem about it I thought perhaps it was a slug maybe a decomposing rug or some huge condom clogged with clag it's Joseph Porter's sleeping bag a mad bacteriologist's dream where Bell End Borsin reigns supreme and even bed bugs puke and gag it's Joseph Porter's sleeping bag the outside festers and within the insides grey as major's skin a quilted dustbin or a rag it's Joseph Porter's sleeping Bag. No laundrette has crossed its path. Folk vomit in its aftermath. There's notebooks and a railway mag in Joseph Porter's sleeping bag. A camel's foreskin, by compare, smells sweeter than the alpine air. I'll tell you this, I'll never shag in Joseph Porter's sleeping bag. So he made him put it in the washing machine. And I wrote a poem in solidarity with that washing machine. <laughs> Stung by these words so rudely bald, to Protex old machine it crawled. A scene too gruesome to be screened. The day the sleeping bag was cleaned, industrial agent was fetched. The traumatised appliance wretched. Inside, a sewer slowly sloshed. The day the sleeping bag was washed. A tidal wave of helmet brie. <laughs> and that's a concept, right? It's a concept. Now, I just want you to dwell on that concept just for a couple of minutes, okay? It works best, actually, that line works best at festivals, especially if I'm on about the third day of a festival. <laughs> but, but, you know, it works pretty well everywhere, especially for, you know, for, late, for the ladies present. Okay, just dwell on that, because I'm going to repeat it now, just so it sticks in your mind. A tidal wave of helmet brie flowed festering towards the sea and in it plague rats gaily preened the day the sleeping bag was cleaned the feated futons foreskin fetter caused many an angry greenpeace letter first exxon valdez now this the day the hot point took the piss and now the horrid thing is clean and lilac smelling and pristine there's still no way i'll ever shag in joseph porter's sleeping bag cheers